conscious Jaguar 3566, you want to invest in a tool that's called a, it's called a kick trainer. My favorite is the SKLZ Solo Star Kick Trainer, and it's the, probably the best alternative to a ball and a wall if you don't have access to a good ball in your house. This is a great tool that you can you can use while you're watching games on TV or just walking. I like using it walking through busy cities or, or bu busy areas. You can get 60 touches in 60 seconds, which means in 10 to 15 minutes using it, you get close to a thousand touches effortlessly. It's really gonna help you improve your timing, rhythm, coordination, first touch, as well as balance. And it's 26 bucks right on Amazon, or you can make one yourself with a length of rope and just a, 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 a ball of any size at right of the length of rope from your hip bone to your ankle bone. There's also a game that you can start to play with yourself. It's called the barrel game. So if you have a garbage can, you, you start to juggle the ball into the garbage can with your right foot, your left foot, both feet alternating, right thigh, left thigh, and then finish it with any body part, any, body com any combination of body parts that you want, with or without a bounce. So you want to start this game, right? start close, so that you start to develop, improve your juggling abilities, and over time, you use different size balls, more challenging balls, and, and go further away from the from the garbage can to challenge yourself more so it's a progression right it's a it's a beautiful game because it can always get harder you put stuff in your hands you go from further away you use more challenging balls right you can always make it harder so this is why and it's fun because you can compete but right? you can compete with your friends and family trying to see who can juggle faster into the, into the barrel of the bucket so hopefully this helps right so if you have a ball I would just bring that ball everywhere you go and you also want to, if you if you take a deep breath, right? You go, if you take a deep breath and your shoulders go up in the air, so if your deep breath looks like this, then you want to search this, search this video. It's called How to Breathe by Dr. Vranich. V-R-A-N-I-C-H. She's gonna teach you how to use belly breathing. And this is gonna effortlessly improve your endurance and stamina, it's also gonna help you be more relaxed on and off the field in high pressure situations. So hopefully some of these ideas help reach out with any questions. All right, thank you.